Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> we're revisiting the Twier. Um, we're working on the forge today, and we're gonna try and. Uh, I'm I'm moving forward. I ne I need to get this thing done. I want to get busy, and uh, several things are going on right now. I am actively searching for an anvil again, which has been elusive at best, and we have got to get the bellows connected to the. Uh, forge and that's basically what we're working on however oh well and one other thing I pulled these bricks out of here what I did was I actually I, they were just off they were just that was really bad I was really unhappy with that so what we're gonna do is once we get everything put back in here I've got some uh, uh, fire mortar clay clay mortar and we'll just lay it in and and stuff just to Literally just, it, all it has to do is keep the fire and the hot coals right, directly off the steel. Um, otherwise, what we're doing is we're going to focus on getting the air from the nozzle down a pipe and into the, into the tweer. And the issue is I still need to be able to control the amount of airflow. Well, um, one of the ways that they would control the airflow from the bellows was with a system of counterweights and what they would do is obviously the weight of this top board controls the airflow out of the nozzle so the heavier the more air the lighter the less air basically the faster it comes down the more air that comes out of the nozzle and the slower it comes down the less air well they did that a couple of different ways I think I, I mean I don't know I know one way that they did it was with a system of counterweights so hopefully this will illustrate how they somewhat uh, get at least give an idea of how they worked you had your double lung bellows basically like this goodness that's just not making much of a mark is it so anyways you had the center board had your top board your bottom board and you had a um, a rod and it had a pivot point and basically this would have been connected to the top here and what you would do is you'd put a weight along this rod that ran up here so if you needed more weight on this top board to close it faster so that you'd get more air like say for forge welding you'd put the weight at this end of the pivot and that would add more weight to here if you needed it to come down slower you would simply slide that weight over here. You would simply slide that weight over here and it would counteract, it would counterweight this top board and let it down slower. Well, I don't think I'm going to have enough, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with enough air for fo forge welding um, with these bellows. If I do need, I can just add a weight. I'm not worried about that. So I think what I'm going to do is instead we're going to regulate most of the airflow with a valve. So this is more or less the way our our tweer is built. You know, I got the forge like this. We got our little ash dump and all that kind of stuff. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a butterfly valve right here. And so basically what happens is it'll come out with a le a lever and if I need more air then I'll turn it one way and it'll open the butterfly this way let more air in if I want to close it down I just turn it and slightly close it until I can close it pretty much completely off so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna work on that on a little bit of a valve um, I could do it I guess I could have uh, just gone out and got a two inch uh, ball valve um, but uh, you know that that'd be uh, yeah, you know, that'd be that'd be too easy. So let's uh, let's get started.
That is the second coat of that stuff I've put in there. This is basically um, fire brick clay, but it's a powder, and you, you mix it in with your mortar for when you're doing uh, fireplaces and stuff like that with fire bricks. I, it's kind of experimental. I'm hoping that what it'll do is just basically make one solid brick um, rather than that mess that was in there before. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyways, uh, we got the tweer put back on though and we have our little lever so that'll give us uh, full air and then all the way to closed or mostly closed and anywhere in between. So. That's it. Next step, we're going to hook up the pipe that uh, slides on the end of the tuyer down here, or the tweer, and uh, it'll slide on, clamp on, clamp in place, and then come up, and then we'll build a, an adapter for that nozzle. So, anyways, till next time, bye.